So when I was little, I used to always think, how can all these countries be in debt? I mean, Canada was in debt, the United States was in debt, you'd always hear about this, yet you knew these were some of the richest countries in the world. So everyone must be in debt. And I always wondered when I was a little kid, why don't we just cancel off our debts to each other then? How, how is this working? Why was everyone in debt? And later on, of course, I realized that a lot of that debt was actually owed to private banks. And that's why we couldn't just get together as countries and, and cancel each other's debt. Um, so the problem with that is, first of all, it makes it hard for countries to change amongst themselves. You've taken the whole decision out of the realm of public policy. And sometimes banks also want to make conditions because banks aren't countries. They're in this to make good on their loans, right? They don't have any interest in uh, pursuing public policy uh, projects. Why should they? So the problem is that sometimes they will make a condition even that a loan that they're giving needs to be used to pay off like a previous loan or the interest on a previous loan because what they really don't want to happen is for the country to default on its loan because in that case they're going to have to write off uh, the loan is a bad loan and their shares are going to take a hit and potentially these are very big amounts of money sometimes So it could potentially even have some serious harm to them as a company. So that's a further problem But you could ask okay be that as it is Why don't the politicians in charge of a country just go you know what we're going to default on this debt anyway Because enough is enough. It's like an, uh, a stone around your neck sometimes um, And the answer is usually that when a country does that then usually the economy does go down temporarily quite badly for a while because they can't get uh, more credit and they do have to recover from the stigma that's attached to defaulting on your loan. And normally politicians don't want to do that because they need to be reelected, right? Every four years or five years, maybe even earlier if they're having a very, very bad economic time. And no politician wants to be the person that takes that plunge. There's been very few exceptions, for example, in Argentina. Um, but on the whole, they know that their opposition is going to capitalize on that and it might hurt them very badly at the polls. So that's why things don't change on the national level and we keep going on with the system.